Hey guys, this is the professor, and this is land navigation part three. Maps and scales. At the bottom of every topographic map is a scale. In this case, we have the scale one to 24,000. And what that basically means to us is that one inch on the map corresponds to a distance of 24,000 inches on the ground. Or that one inch on the map will correspond to a distance of 2,000 feet on the ground, which is a convenient scale because that means that one mile is about two and a half inches or so, which is a pretty good scale to work with, but it's even easier in the metric system. Now, since the scale is 1 to 24,000, then that means to us that one millimeter on the map would correspond to a distance of 24,000 millimeters on the ground. And since there are 1,000 millimeters in every meter, that means that one millimeter on the map corresponds to a distance of 24 meters on the ground. So, if you want to know how far it is from point A on your map to point B, simply take that distance in millimeters and multiply by 24. You will have your distance then on the ground. Let's apply, apply that to a simple example. Now you may remember from the first video that we were planning out a trip that was going to take us from our truck, which is parked here, up to a little hilltop over a half mile away, somewhere up in this area. Now the first part of the trip is going to be along this roadway. It's going to go straight north, and then there's the gate here where we'll go into the pasture. Let's suppose we want to know how far that is on the ground. Well, if we simply take our metric ruler and measure that straightaway distance in there, we can see that that distance is about 10 millimeters. Now, since every millimeter on the map corresponds to a distance of 24 meters on the ground, that distance is going to be 10 times 24, or about 240 meters, a little more than two beads, which on our, on our ranger counting beads. Now, we can even do better, though, with even less math. Now, since we know that one millimeter on the map corresponds to a distance of 24 meters on the map, then it would be true that four millimeters on the map would correspond to a distance of 96 meters on the ground. Now, 96 meters on the ground is almost 100. And so, remember, that is the distance that we set up for each bead of our ranger counting beads. Consequently, we can then make that approximation that four millimeters on the map is one bead of our counting beads. So we even have a simpler way. Measure the distance from point A to point B, divide by four, and that will tell you immediately the number of beads that will show on your ranger counting beads. Now while this is simple enough, even at that, sometimes it's nice to go out to the field without having to do any math at all. And so in my next example, I'll show you a way to do even better. If we take another look here at the scale of our map, We'll notice here that on the metric scale, here we have zero and here we have one kilometer. But on the other side, here we have zero and here we have one kilometer. But on this side, that kilometer is bro broken up into ten sections. So each of these little sections here then is one-tenth of a kilometer or 100 meters, which of course is exactly the distance that we set up to uh, correspond to one bead on our ranger counting beads. Now, if we take the edge of a card or a piece of paper, we can simply use the scale that's right on the map, and we can mark that off in beads. So here we would have one bead, two bead, five beads, all the way up to ten different beads on our ranger counting beads. And we could simply measure the distance directly from point A to point B and have that come out in beads. It even gets better. Now, as you recall, I like to take my maps and enlarge them on a photocopier so that they will even be bigger. So if you look at the scale then, here, you will notice that we're dealing with a much bigger, much bigger map. And consequently, the scale is going to enlarge with that. So as you photocopy the map, simply go ahead and photocopy the scale that goes with that on the same amount of magnification. 
Then simply mark off your ruler as we did before. So what we can do here then with, with this particular ruler that's marked off to the bigger scale, which by the way is approximately 1 to 6500, these marks in beads then will immediately tell us the distances that we need. So we look here and we can see here that from the place that we parked the truck up to the gate there is once again going to be a little over two beads. Two, almost two and a half beads. So we'll be uh, two beads and then halfway through our pace count, perhaps to the second one.